working in this animal <laughs> um, It certainly was not difficult working with Rowan, who played Mowgli, because he was such a brilliant actor, and really uh, he put himself into the role completely. He was very dedicated. Um, so that, that, I mean, really, I had my job was just to to make the journey feel uh, logical, you know, and for him for him creating an atmosphere where he could really f feel that he could play the emotions of the character. Um, but he was, he was amazing. No, the, the, cha the challenge was designing the, the animals, actually, and making sure that they felt as engaging and emotional as Mowgli than real. Um, and because the world is seen from Mowgli's point of view, and these animals, therefore, had to have some... You know, they are, in a sense, the way that they're written in the book, they are really human characters that happen to be animals. So we designed them in that way so that you can see the, the facial expressions of the, of the actors in the animals that they play. And that was a very complicated uh, journey to, to, make, to, to actually get to the point where you really believe that, the, that, that they were, the, you could see that the human facial expressions come through the animals. And what was the most difficult scene? Most difficult scene? Uh, there was lots of difficult scenes, but the, I think most te the most technically difficult. There's a scene in, in in the first act of the movie where Mowgli is running home with his little friend Boot, and they run into the. It's the first time you see the wolf pack where they live and the neighbourhood, and and he comes home and his mother's cleaning up his siblings, and uh, then she starts to lick him clean, and there was a lot of interaction with the wolves running around Mowgli, and lots of different eye, eye lines where Mowgli's playing to different characters. And, and, and that was one of the first scenes that we ever shot in the movie and one of the last scenes that was completed sort of four years later. I mean, it was a very, very complex, complex scene where there were lots of interaction. Yeah, it was very tricky. And how did you end up playing Baloo? Yeah, I mean, I didn't, I, I didn't uh, set out to play anything in the movie because I was directing and I knew that it would be take all my energy to do that. But... Um, we got to the end of the casting process on all of the other characters, and, and Baloo was, we were finding it hard to cast. Uh, but then, then the producers and I looked at each other, and they said, well, it's, and it seems a bit crazy that, that you know, you, you're so used to playing performance-captured roles, uh, you, should, you should play Baloo. So, so I thought, well, I, I, I'd sort of worked out who the character was and what he represented in, from the book. And I wanted to play him in a particular way, which was, you know, much, much tougher. He was more like a drill sergeant than a, than a, you know, happy, honey-eating sort of a buffoon of a bear, you know. So, so that that was the again going back to the book. That was the angle I wanted to um, to, to to take with him. Yeah, I wanted to ask you about that because this is a darker version of the mm. Jungle Book. But what do you think that the audience expects? The audience will probably expect. I mean, it's it's a difficult one because the audience probably expect the 1967 animation or the more recent Fabro version, which is which is uh, you know singing and music and it, you know a, a lot of people don't even realise that there was a book called The Jungle Book and it, and it was written by Rudyard Kipling in the 1890s and that it was a public domain amazing success of a book. Um, and that it is darker, uh, and there are a lot of dark themes in there. Uh, but it's still an uplifting story. It's still, I mean, but but it's but it's also crucially, we called it Mowgli because it's his journey. It focuses on his journey, and in lots of the other adaptations, Mowgli almost gets lost because because of the focus that is put on the the the, uh, the humor and the animals and the the songs. And his his emotional journey is often masked I think so we really wanted to bring to bring that out so so I think it's 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 a it is a still a family film I wouldn't take very young kids to see it because it is thematically a bit darker but I think really from the age of seven or eight maybe that I think kids can watch it would you say that it's a coming of age movie yeah Yes, it is. It's very much a coming-of-age movie. Um, you know, he's this young, feral child who is brought up by wolves who then discovers that this isn't his real family and it's about the complex nature of, of then finding your own identity and where you, where you sit in, in the world and how you, how you play your part in society and, and, and caught between these two changing worlds, the world of animals which is being threatened by man and then the expansion of, of, of man in the jungle uh, and trying to assimilate into that, it's, it, it, it really puts the audience in, in through Mowgli's eyes, puts them in that position of trying to work out where they belong. Mm. Um, the movie also talks about 
other topics such as war or men's influence on nature, um, what do you think that the audience can learn that is related to the present time? Well, two things. I, 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 think, I think we're all aware that we are you know, daily destroying our planet um, and, and want to feel that we can do something about it, but at the same time it's almost reached a point where it's, it's escaping us. And, and so we, 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 do, we, we investigate that in the way that man is in, you know, the, the sort of is colonializing the jungle. Um, and, 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 and you see the threat to, to, to the animals. Um, the, the other thing is that it's, there is a sense of, you know, again, in Mowgli's journey, the sense of being displaced. And our planet is full of displaced human beings uh, who are searching for, yearning for a sense of home. Where is their real home? There are millions of refugees now in the world. There are you know, people who feel that, who are born in one country and, and actually are from another, that, who are immigrants. Who are, there's a real sense of, uh, you know, an identity, searching for identity, I think, that a, that a lot of people are going through that I think people will relate to in this story.